Hi everyone, in this video, we will solve the problem valid palindrome on lead code. So the problem says, given a string s, return true if s is a palindrome and false otherwise. So for example, if we have the word race car, we reverse the word and we still get race car. So if it's the same as the original, then we know that it is a palindrome. How about the string 1p colon p1? Well, the first thing is you need to get rid of all non-alphabet characters. So in this case, the colon. So once we get rid of the colon, we reverse the string, which is 1pp1, and this is also a palindrome. So keep in mind that in this problem, you are allowed to keep numbers. There are two solutions to this problem, and we'll go through both of them in Python. So for the first solution, we take in the string s, we lowercase all the characters in the string s, and what is this line? Well, this right here will loop through the string and it will save the character into a list if that character is alphabet or is a number. So basically this right here will get rid of all non-alphabet characters like the colon, right? So here we have a list and we need to convert this list into a string. The join function will convert the list into a string. We have S2. Then here we compare S2 to its reversed version. So this is the syntax for reversing a string. And if the reverse version is the same as the original, then we know that it is a palindrome. Let's take a look at the second solution. Now using race car as an example, we'll first put the indexes onto the string. And then the next step is to determine something called a line. And you'll see what it does in a second. So the line is equal to the number of letters. So there are seven letters in total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we floor divide by two, okay? So what is floor divide? Well, seven divided by two gives you 3.5 and 3.5 rounded down gives you three. So that's basically what floor divide is. The length is three. So we're going to put the line onto the first three letters. Now we're really close to finishing. The last step is to put the two arrows, one at the beginning and one at the end. And then we compare the letters. So R and R are the same. Okay, that's good. The next one, A and A. Yep, they're the same. How about C? Yes, they're the same. So once this arrow is at the end of this line, you know that this string is a palindrome. Now let's take a look at another example, A, B, C, A. Again, we have the indexes. The line is four because there are four letters. Then we floor divide by two, we get two. So the line goes for two letters. We put the two arrows at the beginning and the end. A is the same as A. How about this? B is not the same as C. So this is a sign that tells us that this is not a palindrome. Let's take a look at the second solution. So we lowercase the letter S, then same thing as last time, this line of code will get rid of basically all the non-alphabet characters. So we have S2, then we determine what is the last index on the string. So the last index is the length of S2 minus one. Then what is the line? Well, the line is length of S2, floor divided by two. And then the last step is to put the first arrow onto the line and we loop through the line. So we compare the character at the first arrow with the character at the second arrow. And what's happening here is that when we loop through the line, i is going to increment, and this basically moves the second arrow to the left in the string. And if we find a character that is not the same for the first and second arrows, then we know that this string is not a palindrome, we return false. And after we finish looping through the line, we know that it is a palindrome, so we return true. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. And in the next video, we will determine if two strings are anagrams, and anagrams are very similar to palindromes.